Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're doing well. Alright, if you're someone that is trying to speak English fluently, I got a really important video for you today. Alright guys, I program a lot of listening in my program and I always insist upon listening more. And sometimes I have to create strategies and study programs depending upon what works best for you. But why? Why all this? Just to make you speak fluently and confidently. That is why. Why? Why does it feel so challenging, guys? Why does it feel so impossible to be able to speak fluently and confidently? Well, today, guys, I'm going to break it down for you. And I'm also going to give you some tools and strategies that will help you to break out of your limitation and speak confidently. All right, guys, but before we get started, would you please drop me one of these down there, that, that little button? Down there, you see that? You did? All right, thank you so much. Let's move on. All right, guys, so the number one thing that is stopping you from speaking English fluently is this belief that I can. No matter what I do, I just can't. And I will never be able to speak English fluently. It's this self-limiting belief, guys. That's what the problem is. All right, guys, if you want to know why or who puts that belief in our minds, I'll make a video about it. Guys, tell me in the comments if you want to know where or why does this belief come from. Guys, first of all, you have to stop treating English like a mystical, magical unicorn. It's nothing more than a simple habit. It's a thing of practice. That is it. And therefore, I want you to start believing that speaking English is just a piece of cake. Now, once you start believing in yourself, guys, step two is to put in the work to improve your language. And that includes your vocabulary, your pronunciation, the way you speak and the way you feel while speaking. We are going to have to work on all of those. And now the question is how? Well, for the next two weeks, I want you to watch something in English. Watch your favorite movie, watch a, a, a serial or even a comedy show or you can listen to your favorite podcast. I don't care what you watch. The goal is to get your brain more in touch with the language. But by the way, guys, I would also recommend you the video that I made on listening. You might want to check it out. It might be helpful to you. That video is listed with link in the description. All right, guys. So if you are consistent for those two weeks, by the end of that second week, you're already feeling some difference, some difference. I'm not going to say what. You have to experience it. I can't tell you what it really is. I can only tell you what it feels like. You will feel more motivated to express yourself in English. Trust me, it will happen. But believe me, the fear or the discomfort associated with speaking is still inside you. So we want to go reach out deep inside your mind, take it out, throw it on the floor and stomp on it like that with our fashionable cowboy shoes. And here's how we're going to do it. All right, you are listening consistently for those first two weeks. And the next week, that is the third week, I still want you to keep listening. Don't stop listening. But this is the time to drop a bomb on your fear and the bomb is in the form of a challenge don't worry i'm not gonna tell you to go in public and uh, and and just fire a speech you know i won't do that to you do you want to be confident like real confident then do exactly what scares you and in this case believe in yourself and start speaking start speaking start speaking and in this third week i want you to film yourself speaking english and i want you to talk about something Nothing too crazy. You can simply talk about your daily routine or something that you're passionate about. I don't care what you talk about. As if you're explaining that to someone and someone is listening to you. Now, I guess probably you're going to feel weird and uncomfortable while doing that. But guess what? We have proven that limiting voice inside your head that we can. I can speak. And that's all we are looking for. The only way you're going to be able to break that limitation in your head is by challenging yourself. If you really start practicing speaking like that, your confidence through the roof. Also by the end of that third week, but you have to be consistent and must be willing to put in the effort because this sounds really simple, but is definitely not easy. And now in that fourth week, I actually want you to put yourself out there around people that you know are really good at English. They may be your teachers, they may be your friends or your colleagues or how about that guy in your class that is killing it at English because he has to know that he is not anymore the guy that is killing it at english because you came into the picture all of them are looking at you amazed like what just happened and you're like oh yeah that's right it's me with that said guys i hope you found this video helpful let me know what else you want me to cover and i'll do my best to do that for you also if you haven't already click subscribe and turn on the notification bells never miss a new video when i put it out all right guys i'll see you soon